Hi there, it's Laquen. I'm back today with a new Voltage game, having a look at the prologue of Dangerous Seductions. Just as a reminder, because it's come up in, to, in the comments recently, I only play the free content of Voltage games. Uh, because of their fair use policy, they ask you not to share the paid stuff and things like that, which is understandable. So, unfortunately, you won't ever see a full playthrough of a Voltage game from me. That being said, I want to thank the new subscribers I've had recently. It's really nice to see other people coming on board. And a quick reminder that I'm also available on Twitter. You can find me at LaQuenYT. I will try and put a link up in the video for that as well. Having done my little opening blurb, let's get started. Oh, very James Bondy graphics. Oh, we're opening up what looks like a graveyard. Oh, very sad. This is a graveyard. Right, so it's a special day. Um, we've arrived at a big city by the look of things. And she's on her, her first job as a freelance journalist, following in her father's footsteps. She's at the start line of her journey. We've got the news running in the background. So she doesn't want to think about it. And on to the next story. And we've got two named Sussex. And they're still on the run. Armed and dangerous. What's the bit we meet both of them before the end of the prologue? She steps out. Feels like someone's watching her. Ooh, mysterious man in a hoodie. He's turned away, so maybe not important at all. Screeching tires. What the car's what? It's gonna crash. And do you just freeze in terror? You don't decide to get off the road? Looks like somebody's grabbed her. Oh, it's that cool eye-opening graphic again. So she's opened her eyes. Ooh, leather jacket man. Yes, he just saved you. So the car's gone. Not really the first thing you think of when someone's just saved you, surely. Oh, you're really handsome. Perhaps that's just me. Why is it going to be difficult? What's going to be difficult? It's a bit rude. Ah, no, it's threatening us with death. What is it? What? I'm very confused. Clear. 
cling to for dear life? What? She sounds just as confused as I am. Yeah, who was that guy? Oh, flashbacky kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what it means. So we're... Oh, we're at the site of her interview now, from the look of things. In the restaurant. Also, she wasn't doing the Prime Minister thing. She was reviewing a restaurant or interviewing a restaurant owner. That lift looks familiar from another game I've played. Not necessarily the background, but the lift. But perhaps all elevators in Tokyo are glass lined, who knows? Oh, a man's got a lift with her. She's very thirsty. <laughs> She's oogling a lot of men. Right, he's going to the first floor. Elevator's just stopped. He's telling us to get down. What? Oh. Protecting her. What was that? Oh. What? Someone's shooting at them. I'm just slightly in uh, this story is quite confusing already she doesn't feel any pain now she's just sitting on him What is going on? So somebody clearly is trying to kill her. Possibly in connection with her dad. Just putting some thoughts together here. Now he's pulling you outside. Oh, that was the guy from earlier. The key with him. We've not met him, I don't think. No. So, no careless mistakes. They might have something to do with other crazy things. If you don't want to die, follow us. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> The bad guys are trying to catch you. So if they get 
you. They're going to kill you just like they killed your father. Ooh, ominous. Let's go. Oh, she thinks these are the suspects from the news report. But they've been saving you. Why are you running away from them? He's already one step ahead. How come? What's this? Ah, police station. A well-dressed older man. So, we'll take you in for questioning. Try to put you in a car with the superintendent. She thinks she's safe, but somehow I don't think she is. Oh, you know your name? Where's the hidden room? Your father was the key, and now he's dead, and you will be too if you don't answer. This... It's very confusing. So he's grabbing your wrist. She's very confused. I'm very confused. It's quite a suspense filled story. What did they say earlier? Bad guys try to capture you. If they get you, they're going to kill you just like they killed your father. Oh, his phone's going off. He has to go. And you've just realised that you stumbled from what was probably the good guys to the bad guys. Well done. He's got a point. He's the police, so they're going to believe him over you. Oh, the driver's not going the right direction. This is familiar. Who is the driver? Oh, now we look, we're in a grubby warehouse. Superintendent doesn't sound happy. But hey, that's that little kid from earlier.
Oh, he's taking a nap behind the station. Don't think he's actually having a nap. Oh, he's asking to return the girl. Dramatic. Booming explosions. Oh, one of them is the suspect from earlier. So that's he now. Ray Ryuzaki. That's guy in the leather jacket. Oh, more gunfire. He's quite funny. <laughs> What's on the ground? Scalpels? Quite cold and calculating, these guys. You're being carried again now. If you honestly haven't learnt, these are the uh, good guys yet. Exactly. I don't want to die. Just as he predicted. <laughs> there we go. These police are uh, not doing very well against these bad guys. Can't see the air quotes, but there were air quotes there. Oh, Fujioka. I think lost the key probably means nearly hit you with the scalpel. He doesn't know that bothered though. None of their communication tools are working. No reception. Electromagnetic interference. Arimura. Guy from the elevator. I don't appear to want to hand you over. Oh, cover your ears. Blinding flash accompanied by a splitting explosion. So all the information about the key has been sent 
it has been erased. So here's the genius hacker. Short hair, tough masculine features. In your eye? So he doesn't think they're a team, but from the sounds of things, the rest of them do. They've got a base, of course they're a team. Now he's blowing things up. Three days to take him out, but no one's going to die. I'm not sure that's great. More bangs. Oh, clouds of dust. Nice! Oh, there's fire going on. Oh, and you fainted. Oh, this doesn't look like a good place to wake up. Looks a bit medical. He was treating your wounds. He wasn't being weird or creepy. Probably. Oh, he's introducing himself now. That's good, you know, after the whole kidnapping thing. <laughs> oh, I'm Lake Wen. Hi. Oh, there's a cat! Yes! Always like a good cat. Aphrodite. Sounds like the way he's just spoken, there's another cat. He was scary when throwing scalpels, but seems normal now. Yeah, most people don't seem that nice when they're throwing scalpels, I suppose. That's a bit frisky. That's, yeah. He's very cheeky. So, yeah, he's a terrible doctor. He's a hacker, but he's a bit cold. Those blue eyes, amazing. Sorry, I get distracted sometimes. <laughs> And yeah, I know it's weird to be attracted to animated graphical images, but that's why we play these games, right? <laughs> oh, two men. The two suspects and Missy Fujioka into the room. That guy's the leader, we think. Footage of the father. Father's on the screen. Oh, 
So these guys have been hired to protect you. And your eyes are the key. Oh, that's quite sad knowing that he's dead and he left this video message for her. Harsh. He was murdered by the enemy. His father, just a journalist, so how... I don't want to tell you anything else, partly because it will come up in all the stories. Right, no, I think one. How are they going to. He's dead, how's he going to honour that? That's <laughs> a little bit gruesome. Contract is only valid until we're paid. Once the contractual period is over, our agreement is over, so then we'll just leave you to die. Can't trust anyone from the look of things. Okay. Oh, now they're going to introduce yourselves. Here we've got Raizuki, Ryuzaki. He's one of the top ten snipers in the world. So this is Arimura. He's the virtuoso hacker. likes making bombs. Fujioka, he's a surgeon. For the most powerful people in the underworld. Fingers of a god. Oh dear. Weird red eyes as well. And this is Hino, he's intelligence operative for a certain country. He's a spy. That'll explain the James Bundy like things. He's adorable, but like a little kid. You were about to ask a question and you've changed your mind. <laughs> oh, 
There we go, nice little graphic there. I like that, actually. Only one of them will be assigned to 24-7. Pick whoever you prefer. Full-time bodyguard. Make your choice. So there we go. So many good choices. I'm going to leave the video here. Just want to say thank you very much for watching. I'm aware that my last few videos I've done an awful lot of the talk and what's on screen. Those videos don't seem to have gone down very well. So I'm going to go back to this way of doing things. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know who you think I should start with in the comments below. What I'm going to try and do is maybe a PC game every Wednesday and a Voltage game every Sunday. So leave a comment, let me know which character you want me to start with. I'm sure we'll get through all five of them at some point in the near future. Hit the like button and subscribe button if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And I'll see you next time around on Wednesday. Take care, bye!